Hey everyone, welcome back. Now we gonna have a look over a new sensor that will be BME280. And to know more about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com. And here we have to search in for this particular sensor. And let's see what is special about this particular sensor. And as you can see, it's a digital humidity, pressure, and temperature sensor. And also the features are on this screen uh, right in front of you and also the purchasing power in front of you it's in your hands you can purchase it from there also i will be interfacing bme 280 with a beagle mode plaque and the software platform will be a c language code to get your hands on the code let's go to resource tab and here comes the c code sample onto the screen and you can download it as a zip file also, you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there will be control everything community. Now, let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up together and let's proceed. Well, for the hardware connection setup, the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen. And this here is an I2C shield for the bigger bone black. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that, what we require is to gently place this I2C shield over the beagle bone black and make a connection just like that. For the power up setup, we require two things. The first is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. It is very useful to power up the beagle bone black. Now to power up the I2C shield, we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it in here. Now for an option for the internet connection, there are two mediums. The first is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable and the second is this, a wireless nano USB adapter. Now this here is our digital humidity, pressure and temperature sensor BME280 and this comes a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the cable and the sensor and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the brown wire of the cable and similarly to the ground of I2C shield. So we are done with the hardware connections. Now let's proceed and see what the code is about. Coming to the interfacing part, first of all we need to log in to github.com and hereafter we need to search on for the repository that will be control everything community. Now let's proceeding further. We have the sensor that will be BME280 and here comes the C code. But before that Let's have a look over the instructions part we need to follow up and in this part we need to set up the BeagleBone Black as you can see on my screen and this link BeagleBone.org is the official link from where we need to use all the instructions we need to pull up our BeagleBone Black we need to connect it via USB install some drivers and so on so forth so after getting that uh, we need to download or get pull the code onto the BeagleBone Black and this command will compile the C code and this will run the C code uh, note it down carefully because we will use the commands later on in the working section and now have a look over the C code and it's a .c extension which you notice and the first thing you see into the code that we have included some of the header files here and also in the void main function we have an integer file and we have a function which will check whether the I2C bus is open or not and we have the I2C device and the address of the sensor that is connected will be 0x76. Now coming to the reading section, we are reading a different types of data here and the first, uh, let me explain it to you. We are reading as you can see 24 bytes of the data from the register that will be 0x88 and the data which covers in this part will be the conversion of the data including the temperature coefficients like this and some of the pressure coefficients which you are able to see on my screen then in this part we are reading a single byte of data from the register 0 x a 1 and it will be a humidity coefficient and here we are reading 7 bytes of the data from the register 0 x e 1 and here the conversion, conversion of the data takes place the humidity coefficients are here now coming to the writing section part we are going to select a uh, controlled humidity register that will be 0xf2 and the command we are going to send is for humidity over sampling rate equal to 1 that will be 0x01 and here is the writing command then in the next command we are going to select control measurement register that will be 0xf4 and the command we are going to send here is for normal mode 
temperature and pressure over sampling rate compiling to be 1 that will be 0x27 the writing command is here and the last writing command as you can notice on my screen that will be for the selection of configuration register that will be 0x5 and we are going to send a command that will stand by time it will set it by 1000 millisecond and it is 0x80 here it is then we are going to read as you can see 8 bytes of the data from the register 0x f7 it consists of pressure and temperature data and also the humidity data and here as you can see we have the conversion of the pressure and temperature data here temperature offset calculations then pressure offset calculations and at last we have the humidity offset calculations in all these calculations we have used a specific type of formulas which we have seen in the data sheet for BME 280 at the very end of our code we have the output to be displayed onto the screen which you can see as the temperature in both scales Celsius and Fahrenheit pressure and the unit will be hectopascal and relative humidity and it's in percentage RH so this is how the code looks like it's a bit lengthy but it's a very generalized and simple code now let me show you how it works now let's have a look over the working part and in this thing we need to copy the entire code and after that uh, we need to open up the terminal for the beagle bone black and here we have to create a new uh, code it's a new file as you can see dot c will be the extension and after that we have to paste the entire code here and then we have to save it of course and now we are done now we want to compile the code as you can see on my screen and let me type on the full command for the reference and this is the command and let's see what we got here the code is good it's compiled now for the working part we need to type in this command and let's see what we got here we have the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit we have the pressure in hectopascal and we have the relative humidity which is in percentage rh please note down the things and when i run again the command the change uh, as you can see onto the screen because i have pressed my finger over the sensor when i run again the sensor you can see the changes reflected onto the screen and when i run again the changes are onto the screen which means we have the changes in temperature in celsius temperature in fahrenheit in pressure and in relative humidity so this is how the sensor works now let's see uh, what are the applications and benefits of this sensor the bme 280 is as combined digital humidity pressure and temperature sensor based on proven sensing principles the humidity sensor provides an extremely fast response for fast context awareness applications and high overall accuracy over a wide temperature range the pressure sensor is an absolute barometric pressure sensor with extremely high accuracy and time resolution and drastically lower noise the integrated temperature sensor has been optimized for lowest noise and highest resolution the BME 280 achieves high performance in all applications requiring humidity, pressure and temperature measurement. These emerging applications of home automation control, indoor navigation, healthcare as well as GPS refinement require a high accuracy and a low TCO at the same time. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.